everyone, welcome to Sandy La Pastelera. Today we are going to make nougat. And we are going to make a nougat with honey, almonds and cranberries. So let's go to the recipe. To make this recipe we are going to need 175 grams of honey, 60 grams of egg whites, 15 grams of sugar, 288 grams of icing sugar, 100 grams of water, 38 grams of glucose, 80 grams of almonds, 70 grams of cranberries and two of these rice papers. For the process we are going to start roasting our almonds. So let's do it. So we are going to turn on the flame, we are going to put our almonds and we are going to roast them. Our almonds are ready, so let's put it in the bowl. We are going to cut our almonds roughly. After we finish cutting our roasted almonds, we are going to put it in the bowl and then we are going to the next step. We are going to add the honey into a pot and then it needs to reach 120 degrees celsius when it's almost 120 degrees celsius we are going to put the egg whites in a mixer and we are going to start whipping them with some sugar in the meantime we are going to add the water and the other two sugars to another pot 70 73 79 80 it's 112 degrees so we can start whipping our egg whites with some sugar so we're going to put the egg whites here put the mixer turn it on We are making another syrup and it needs to reach 155 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, we are going to take the whisk attachment and we are going to replace it for the paddle attachment. Our syrup is ready, so we are going to turn it off and we are going to add it in the mixer. While we are waiting to finish our nougat, we are going to grease our pan, we are going to use this one and I just put some butter on, at the bottom and on the sides and then we are going to add one rice paper to the bottom like this so it's easy to take it out when the nougat is ready. So now let's put our nuts into our nougat. Our nougat is ready so we are just going to put it in our mold. Using a spatula we are going to spread it nicely and even. After it's all nice and even we are going to put another layer of rice paper on top. You are going to squeeze it nicely, nicely and even and voila! We are going to let it cool down and then we can cut it and enjoy our nougat. After waiting the whole night my nougat is ready so now we are going to take it out of the mold and cut it. So first we are going to take the film out and now using a spatula we are going to go around the edges of the mold to release the nougat so we go all around and you need a cutting board so you can cut your nougat so now let's flip it over you can just voila to be able to cut your nougat you are going to need hot water and a knife and one of these uh, little towels to clean your knife after you dip them in the hot water. Our knife is nice and hot so we are going to dry with a, a cloth and now we are going to cut. After cutting our first slice of nougat, this is how our nougat looks inside. Now we are going to cut another piece of our nougat, so hold it and cut it. The nice thing about the nougat is that it lasts a long time because it has a lot of sugar in it. But it's quite messy to cut, that's why you need hot water to cut it. It's very important to store your nougat in an airtight container because that way it can stay away from the humidity and here in South Africa from the ants. Quick trick, here in South Africa, in KwaZulu Natal especially, it's very hot outside, it's like 30 degrees, so I just put my nougat in the freezer for 10 minutes and now I can cut it. It has cooled down and is ready to cut. 
our nougat is ready so now we can enjoy it thanks very much for watching this video i hope you like it and please try the recipe at home and let me know what you think see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe and like the video bye